Hi Sponge Murphy here, how is all getting on today? So this week I have another eBay loot video for you guys. It's been a... I think I've been on a bit of a hot streak on eBay lately. I've had one pretty recently. But I have two things that I've got... Well, three things really. Three things, yeah, look at that. Three. Three things. That, that's how I do it. I can't do it that way with the three fingers. Three. But I got three things recently and only one of them is from eBay but I think one of the other ones is definitely worth mentioning uh, with an eBay loot. So the first thing I got was these, and I will be looking at these in greater detail after this intro so stay tuned. Uh, I did get these Skaven clan rats, uh, the kind of the old school looking ones. I think in the description they were called Storm Varmin uh, but some places I'm seeing Warhammer. Um, classic or old warhammer quest stuff or something i haven't had time to research it yet but i got i got them i got them pretty cheap i think i got them for about eight euro including delivery something like that uh then the other thing i got was me and my cousin he was talking to a guy in cork he wanted to trade some space marine bits um or i wanted to trade some space marine bits for any scaven bits he had left over and um, so my cousin tried stuff with him and he sent my stuff with it as well so i got a bag of goodies from him which i'll go through as well now one of the other things i want to quickly mention that i did get is this Ta -na -na -na. yes blood ball is finally here i will be getting my blood ball box for christmas um but for now uh, and i just have to make do with um the scam bite scramblers team which, by the way, is incredibly hard to get. By the time I went to order it, it was out of stock. I got an email saying it was in stock. By the time I got to a computer, it was gone again. So then eventually I was able to get a box down off GW. So um, keep an eye out for that. That'll be in a separate video when I'm doing an unboxing. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I've been so busy lately. Like That's been on my table for like a week. I haven't even had a chance to take anything out of sprues or nothing yet. So uh, look forward to that video, it should be coming up soon. So let's switch down to the desk and we'll have a look at what's in these goodie bags. So first up I'm going to be looking at the old clan rats. Um, this was probably an impulse buy if anything. Um, because I've seen these plenty of times before. Um, and I've just never really been too interested in them. But just all of a sudden I just thought like what if I bought these and I used them as like veterans uh veteran um i was gonna say stern guard i think in a 40k um storm vermin so i was like like if dwarves can have um you know like long beards if the camera is shaking a little bit i apologize because i have to use my phone and the thing i use to hold it is like really fragile if you touch it it wobbles but um, if the dwarves can have the iron, or not the iron guard, Jesus Christ, I can't even think, I can't even think today. If they can have grey beards, then why can't the Skaven have, like, their own version of them? Um, so that's what I was kind of thinking, you know, if I could use these as vermin, lore, or vermin, storm vermin. Um, it's something different in the army that, you know, it'll look different. I'm trying to get this to focus. But anyway... Um, I got eight of them. They're they are nice. They're very static. They're not. You're not going to be able to change them around unless you want to add a shield onto their arms or something like that. Um, I don't know what you can. That's annoying me now that I want focus. There we go. I got a little bit of focus. So yeah, they're, they're static. You're not going to be able to do too much on it. You might be able to change the weapon here, the blade with this hand. That's really the only option I can see. It's kind of blocky after that. Uh, some of the sprues still even on this guy. Look at that. I if the rest of them are like that. Yeah, the sprues still on these guys as well. I've never seen that before. This one's gone. But um, I like him. Maybe you could use them as plague monks now that I think of it. The very plague monkey that have like the hoods and the robes and everything. Just change the weapons and you could get away with it. But anyway, I'm really happy to get them now that I have them and I've seen them and I'm coming up with ideas for them. Um, I will be trying to get more maybe. I got them at a really good price. I think I got them for like 8 euro altogether. But I was really happy with them. Um, and then what I got off the trade with this guy. Now the story with this is my cousin was on Facebook. Uh, one of the geek, geek trading groups. Something like that. And uh, he got talking to a guy and he said to me he's going to be trading stuff. And I asked him. I said hey ask him if he has any scab and stuff. Um so he asked him, he said he just has like random bits of everything. So he said, I have, uh, what did I say I have? 
Uh, oh, Honor Guard. The old Honor Guard. The metal one that comes with... Uh, what's his name? And... Oh, Magnus Calgar. Marnius Calgar. So he was happy to trade I wasn't going to use them. They were in the boxes for years. Never even got around to paying them. Trade them off. So he like he he said like he doesn't have much of whatever he has he can have. So I was like that's fair enough. So there was it was like a bag of random stuff pretty much. Like here's a I think this might be a D and D model because on the base it says, uh, War Priest of Mor Morandon, Wizards two thousand five Wizards made in China. But I was get a little dwarf guy, uh, skeleton guy and some other just little random parts here that I'm not really too pushed with um one of the other things was there was a few skaven odd bits in a bag here uh lots of arms some of these little icon things here like that which i'm really happy to get i can stick them everywhere so mostly just arms of weapons um and then for some reason there was tons of zombie bits but just the arms it's like as if the guy just got the kit and didn't want the arms at him so I was like, here you are, you can have them. So I like to separate them all out, put them in this bag, and the bag is like nearly full of them. You know, I'll find a use for them eventually, but it's kind it's kind of an odd thing to get. Uh but I'm happy I'll take it. Um but what he sent me, what I was really wanting was and I seen in the pictures, uh you get a bell from the screaming uh from the screaming bell and I think it's a screaming bell, I can't remember the kit that it makes. But I was really happy to get this because um, on the bell it has the Skaven uh, head on it carved into it on both sides which is really nice and he also sent me the rat ogre that's pulling it the only thing it's missing is it's head but I can sort that out eventually and this part here is a little bit broken but it's okay Um, I was really happy to get this because I'm wanting to make the Skaven pirate ship. I've wanted to do that for a long time now. And I'm wanting this guy to be like pulling the sails down. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think this is a Plague Priest model that he sent me. There's no arms on it. Um, but I can I can change him up to a hero. I can use him for something. Uh, Clan Rat. Uh, part of a storm forming body. That's a bit random. Um, well, there are just other pieces. Uh, the bottom half of a grace here. So all I need is to make a top half, and I can have a grace here. Um, two warp block engineers with pistols. They're the island of blood ones. Uh, always nice to get. I like converting them up, so I can do some of them. And the last thing I got was the special teams with the warp fire gun. But for some reason, this plastic looks. Different. It doesn't look like GW plastic. I know the camera. I'm a bit funny about the camera. Um, but the setup is different for me. But let's see if it'll focus on it. But the plastic is a little bit different. It's very shiny in parts. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not real GW stuff. But the detail is fine. You know, it looks alright. Uh, but I want to do with this guy. I want to cut him off. Or come in two and have two separate guys um, and come up with something from that. So yeah, that's my kind of uh, haul for this time. At this rate, I could nearly say haul for the week because I'm constantly looking on eBay lately. Um, I have another thing on the way which I'll have a video up about as well. It hasn't arrived yet, but it will. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with the haul. Uh, these scaven bits cost me nothing, so I was just happy to try that. It just cost me whatever postage I sent. Uh, but I was super happy to get these old school um, clan rats slash um, storm vermin that I'm having an awful time trying to focus on camera. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've kind of grown to appreciate them, you know. They're pretty cool. Um, and they're in these like, weird slot of bases that go across. There's like double slots in them, but not on the top. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy. Um, it's a good haul, I think. And, you know, I do have... Uh, I did have this waiting on my desk as well, so I'm going to be getting around to that pretty soon. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a super exciting time for Blood Ball. Um, so make sure to tell me what you... Uh, <laughs> I'll just take a deep breath and just talk. So make sure to tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you already haven't. I appreciate the feedback you guys give me. 
Um, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.